What's up guys and gals, my name is Mr. Moose and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to play a little 7 Days to Die. Yeah, don't get scared. Uh, anyways, it is day 14 on my single player and uh, I've got this nifty little tower base here with a little fall trap right next to it. And um, yeah, we're getting ready to do the day 14 horde. So just give you guys a little look around at what I've got here. It's nothing fancy. Uh, it's the beginnings of a bigger base, but... You got to start somewhere small when you do uh, when you're starting out because you don't have all the resources you need. But uh, it's pretty simple. It's going to get me taken care of. Uh, anyways, we are at uh, 2139. All the festivities start at 2200 hours. You can see the sky is blood red, and we're about to get overrun by a big zombie horde. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't get scared. So yeah, I have a little confession. I'm a, I'm a seven days to die addict. I play it pretty much every day, uh, sometimes for hours and hours on end. And really gotten back into it uh, because Alpha 16 is right around the corner and I'm looking forward to that. So, um, but I've been reluctant to put it out as a let's play or to put it on the channel at all. Um, but I think when 16 comes out, I think I probably will. I will probably start playing and putting some of it out if you guys are interested. This is sort of like one of those feeler out videos to see if you guys are interested in it. Um, a lot of people who are on Discord have seen me playing constantly and have questioned why I don't do any videos on it. So... Uh, who knows? Maybe down the road we might do it. So make sure I got lit my little bridge there. I did. So I got a little walkway around here. I'm going to eventually expand this out to where it is too wide uh, so I can move around it without having to worry about falling off. Uh, but as I began this base as cobblestone, I couldn't put too much of it out there. Otherwise, it fell would fall down. And as a matter of fact, it did fall down on me. I had too much weight out there. Uh, when I initially built built the base and all of my uh, all my catwalk fell down the morning of day seven So I had to rush to get it right back up there, but all is good. It is up um, And yeah after this I'll take you guys on a little tour of the base and uh, Show you what I got going on. But let's do this. Let's see what kind of fun we get into I'm gonna go gunless. I do have a nine millimeter on me and I have a shotgun. I forgot to bring it with me. Wow, she spun in right in front of me. Oh, it's a puppy dog. I let him die. Two shots to him and he'll die. Alright, chick. You're dead. I got folks coming from everywhere. Oh, there she fell down. Yep, she's dead. She's in the junk. Hard to hit them when they go into those barriers there. Oh, that was a headshot. Beach chick or cheerleader. The hiker dude in the head while he was stunned up a little bit. Jam. Yeah, a few changes are going to happen soon in this game when they put Alpha 16 out. And um, I don't know, somebody, some people say it's at the end of the month. Others say maybe later than that, but uh, when it comes out, I will probably do some gameplay on it. Oh, nice, nice little game freeze there. Oh, yeah. I think I got him that time. Him in the head. And her in the head. him and 
hazmat dude in the head. Burning dude. Those are pretty easy to kill usually. Oh man, I say that and I can't hit him. There we go. Go. Let me come over here a little bit more. Look at her getting right up there on the podium. Oh, I know I hit her that time. Come on. Hey, she's a squirmer, ain't she? Oh, that should have gotten her as well. Come on! She's dead. Oh, they tore up my little podium. Got our first guy of the day down below. Day seven, I had fun. Nobody actually made it to the building. Come on. Okay, he's dead. Nope. Alright, Mr. Clean is dead. Oh, I hate when they do that. Aim up on them and they move right when you do. Oh, come on. I've hit him several times now. Am I hitting the body above him? There we go. There is bullet drop in this game, so you do have to compensate for that. That one's dead. Broke my spike. I took your head off. Catch! There we go. Now we're getting things under control. A little shot in the head there on her. I got dude waddling down the road up there. Go ahead and give her a little love tap. And... Aw, oh, come on! It's another one of those things, like, right before they jump, they squat. And it's sometimes you miss the shot, because you're... Eh, almost got her. There she went for the jump. Yeah, well... It's so hard to aim when they, they start squirming. Usually what I try to do is I let the ones that get through and get up on here. I usually let them, unless they get into a spot where I can get a shot on them like her. I usually let them do their thing and die on the spikes. And, um, here we go. Oh, come on. No, in the neck, not in the head. Stop focusing on him and get the construction worker there. Get Blondie there. Oh, mister. Let's get the Tourette's guy here. There we go. Got him finally. Oh, come on, that was a hit on her too. The dogs are so funny, they sound like TIE Fighters when they die. I swear they took the sound effect out of Star Wars. 
Well, that was a good headshot. That was a good headshot. That should have been a good headshot. Here we got her. Bodies are popping. That's the only disadvantage to being up here is you can't do a whole lot of looting. Now, again, this is just an initial initial build. Um, in my future actual build of this base, I will um, I will have it set up so I can actually loot behind some columns and everything. But this was just to get a place to the to uh, to shoot from and get started. Let's make sure there's nobody back here. Hadn't had any spider zombies yet, so. But yeah, this is just, um, basically I built it like this because this is the centerpiece for the initial or for the actual base that I'm going to be playing with down the road. Um, and so go ahead and put it here and so I can shoot things from it. I've just put the, the bars out the side so I can walk around and shoot down. And it gives me a platform where I can stand up here and I can shoot them at a distance. But then once they get, you know, in close, if they do actually fall in, I can, um, I can just stand up here, look straight down and hit them. Oh, that should have killed him. That one did. That's the arrow. Oh, there's a hit. And there's another hit. Let's see if I can hit him one more time and kill him. Nope. Missed him. Come on. Up dead and die. Yeah, he's dead now. Hey, nurse. Ah, just over her shoulder. Here we go. I think she's dead. I'm missing her. Okay, now I know she's dead. Oh, sure. Gotta hit there. Gonna jump up there. Come on, break a leg. Not the most accurate thing, these bows. Ah, come on. Easier to get when they're coming from left to right. There we go. miss him Dead. so the house over there with the light on it that's actually the first place I went when I came to town was that house and I set up over there and I've got actually a mine shaft underneath it for just getting 
stone and ore and stuff like that. Um, that was my original place before I came over here and started building that. All right, guys. So if you're not familiar with this game, it's basically Minecraft for adults. Um, with the zombies and you've got to, um, you've got to do a lot of crafting and everything. And the building is a lot, you know, very cubicle. Um, but the object is just to survive the zombie hordes that come every seven days. And that's the reason it's called seven days to die. You basically have seven days to fortify your defenses so that when the zombies come, you can try to survive them. Now you have them all the time. They, they're they always available in the game or they're always around you in the game, but um, the big hordes come at you every seven days. Now I do have, for those who are purists and play this game, I've got the running turned off just because it... It makes it a little more manageable when you're playing single player, but um, if you really want to challenge, you can you can uh, you can have them where they'll, they'll feral and come run after you. Man, I'm twitched right at the end of that. All right. So, it's just after midnight. I've only got three and a half more hours of this to go. Uh, basically, the structure of the game is uh, the Blood Moon begins at 2200 hours and lasts until 4 a.m. That's when daybreak begins. And um, between that time and that six hour window, the... the um, the zombies are feral and they can sense you and they know exactly where you at regardless of where you are and they'll come after you. There's a little joker. I can't stand them. I can get a couple of shots on this guy before I have to deal with Spider-Man here. Yeah, I missed him. in the butt that time so these guys right here they can climb the walls and he's gonna come right on up here a couple of times and then he'll just beat on the there we go got him in the back um but yeah they can climb the walls and if that's the reason you want an overhang like these bars otherwise they can get up here right with you Hey, nude. What you doing there? Okay, nude. Right as I got ready to shoot. That one went in the neck. But that one got him. That one did. Alright, seems like everything is coming from the, uh, the southwest this time. Last time everything came from the, um, from the northwest. It was really easy for me to see everything. Catch! A lot of the times you shoot them and they'll fall down, they're not actually dead, so... Uh, it's a good thing to go ahead and lay another shot into them. There we go. She's dead. Hello, nurse. Oh, did I get her in one shot like that? Can't tell. She's out far enough. I can't hit her head from here. Oh, yeah, she's dead. Excellent. Ah. Three hours left. And they just keep coming. 
How many arrows I got left? 196. That should be fine. I think I started with like uh 350 iron arrows, so uh mister. Got you that time. So hard to get her once she gets on those on those spikes. Shot. Here we go. You put it in the neck. All right, Tom, it didn't. That was a closer. So hopefully, by keeping them all spread out, and I keep the the deaths, you know widespread i can uh i'll be able to loot all these bodies once the the whole thing's over ah waited too long that one went way right that one didn't know uh shoot her in the butt No, oh, that sh that should hurt. There we go. She's dead. All right, who's next? Got another contestant coming out of the uh, out of the clay field up here. A couple of dudes coming in, Stompy and Shuffles. Oh, that was way left. Oh, that was a hit. He is a hard charger. Oh, right in the head. Hello. Ah, uh, what a waste. If I could have hit him while he was on the ground, I probably would have killed him. I still got him. Oh, decapitation! Fatal hit! Oh, wait. Headshot! Oh, that one went way right. She's dead, I'm pretty sure of it. Definitely dead now. She lost her head. Look, the twins. One of them just took one to the head. I took another one. Can take one more. Oh, and that one I shot it right over his ear. Ah, that was a mistake. Go. There, he's dead. So is his brother. Excellent! Alright, 146. And they keep coming. Headshot. Here's one shot on him. Oh, I couldn't get two shots in on him. He usually takes a couple. Uh, he should be dead now. Here comes one owner rider. Yeah, I got names for all these people. Yeah, I've played with them. I'm like, oh, that one looks like a Winona Rider chick. And she looks dead. Is. 
All right. So there's three sets of the, the three stages of decay on the bodies, just so you guys know. Um, there is the dead body that just lays there and looks like the body. Then it turns into decay where it looks like a little grayish body, and then it decays where it's just a skeleton and guts. Um, so that's the reason things look different. And at all points in it, you can still loot them. All right, 2 a.m. Comes another spiders. Oh, two spiders. Oh, that was a good one. Pretty sure that killed him. That one just behind the head. Oh, and that one missed completely. And thought I had you. He's dead. Wow, three of them. In the butt. In the butt again. You're dead. Oh, that went straight through her head. And that one was a miss. Stop crawling through all my dead bodies, you mess them up. Hey. You quit wiggling? Ha! She's dead. And I leveled up. Nice. I'm up to level 60 now, which is sweet. Nobody's coming from any other directions. Just the southwest this time. Hour and 30 minutes basically left. Come on, here comes Winona Ryder again. Oh, I got her out there way... Way out. I don't think she's dead. Oh, come on. Get her while she's dead. Now she's dead. Oh, I hate these guys, man. They they wiggle so much. They're so annoying to try and hit. Man, I missed. Kind of in the back of the neck. He's dead. Oh, come on now. There we go. Headshot. Another little silly monkey dude. I got him in the back leg. Come on. He's dead. All right. Who's next? Must be somebody crawling in the grass somewhere. I don't see. Here's one. Well, 
Well, that's a hit. Well, that's another hit. Ah, I missed. Might as well let him come on in. She's dead. Come on. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's faking it. There, he's dead. I get a nurse way down the road there, and we are one hour till daylight. Oh, my bad. That's not a nurse. That's one owner rider. Oh. See, I'm a kid of the 80s. There's one. Oh, that was that one sailed on me. There we go, she's down. And so we see. Oh, she got back up. She's wanting to go extra innings. Oh but yet she was a uh, total let down oh well another snake in the grass over here well oh, I think I got him that time Mama son was moving, wasn't she? She was determined to get in here and get some moose. Come on, catch the arrow. Ah, there we go. Chud. I still gotta hit him one more time before he gets up. Oh, no, he was dead. Why do you think I caught him? All right, 45 minutes. And we will have made it through night 14. And then we'll do some looting and all that good stuff. Two of them, stink of the grass. Got to be careful when I'm zoomed in. Almost walked out the side. That wouldn't have been fun. I think that one's dead. I don't think I can get dude here crawling. Oh, no. Back up for another round. Extra innings. Taking him like a champ. You gotta die coming through those spikes. Just over his head that time. Shoulder blade. Go. 25 minutes. Probably have enough time for maybe two more. Oh, that was brutal. Well, maybe time for one more, the way this dude's slouching around. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, by the time he gets over here, 
I think we'll be lucky to see one more. And the sun will rise and we will uh we'll be able to go see what kind of loot we got. Which everybody's got a different style for playing this game, how they like to do it. Some people like to just run out and are like close quarters melee kind of people. Other people just like to get as much ammo as they can and sit and machine gun everything. I really enjoy the bow. I uh, I do try to like, I like trying to get them as far out as I can. And I probably have my spikes a little bit too close. Oh. Oh, she's down. And I got dude in the grass here. That looked like a good shot. And went right. Yeah. Aim in left to try and catch his head when it swings back that direction. Three minutes. And there we go. It's morning time. Let's kill that squirt. And her. And we'll pretty much be done and we can go get the goodies. He is being annoying. Won't be much repair on the base. Oh, I'm at it. No. Oh, my bow's broken. Ah. That's why I keep two. I was like, why am I not firing? Oh. Yeah, my bow's broken. Ah, uh, that's why I keep two of them on the hot bar. All right. Seems like the end of it. Just check for any kind of stragglers that might be walking around. I think we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we did. Grab my little wood frames there. I'm using for a, a makeshift bridge right now. Once I get, uh, oh, man, forgot one of them took my, uh, a little platform out over there. I'm one short. A little damage right there. All right. Go ahead and close that up. And we can start looting. Knobs, junk. All right, start cleaning up some of these bodies. Skeletons. And let's see, we got that one already. Got it already. Open to find some some books for things like I don't know rifles, oops, vitamins. I've been all over town. I'm having the hardest time on this game save finding things. They um, I've been really fair or not been really abundant to me. Like it took me. Eight days to get a wrench on this game saying usually you get that first day of scavenging. Took me forever. Let's see. That one hasn't been touched. 
to work on my spikes a little bit. I don't typically... Uh, I'm not wrapping these in metal up here because um, they're disposable. Eventually, when I make this into an actual free-falling pit, I will... Um, well, anyways, when I actually make it into a free-falling pit, I will actually get rid of all of these spikes. And that way they can just walk in and fall into the pit and die, so... That... So far, nothing really impressive with the loot. Junk. Here. Much. No. The problem with shooting some of these way out here is you forget where the bodies are. At least with them coming in from this general direction, you pretty much know they were over in this area somewhere. Oh, get rid of that one. What else we got left? Get rid of that. Don't need it. Don't need any bones. Old sham sandwiches. That, lose that, kill the body. Nope. Anybody this far out? I'm pretty much it. This is my clay pit uh, where I've been digging up clay. Eventually, I'm gonna block all this off or fill it back in. Uh, but for now, I've been just. I'm getting robbed, I'm telling you. Ready over this direction. Oh. There were some... That bird. Uh, let's see, was there anything back here? I don't think there was. I think this is... I think... I think that's it for that. Okay, we'll go check out the pit to see got down there here's just a, another look at the back side of the base everything's pretty much the same I'm missing a torch on that side here real quick go into here pop all this off up with two sets of uh sets of bones that is weird all right so down here we're gonna go not there all right see what we got over here Nothing. Junk. And more junk. Not even worth my time. So the building doesn't look like it took much of any damage. The metal sure didn't. So a little bit of spike damage here. A little bit of damage on the concrete up there. I guess I need uh because of the spider monkeys, maybe. Um raise that up a little bit if I'm still fighting at this level uh, on day 21 but I doubt I will be I'm, I'm making pretty good progress down below I'll take you guys in there and show you that because man I don't need to be doing this on day 21 since I keep killing myself on these spikes that. grab that open that up and we'll pick up that one and that one Eventually, like I said, eventually I'll build a drawbridge across there, but uh, I don't have the resources right now. All right, so if we open up this hatch, we can go down, and I'll show you what I've got going on down here. We can pull these out. 
Just had them in there in case something went really wrong. This door here leads to a little hatch that I have underneath here. Allows me to get under here easily during the day and make repairs to this if I need to. Uh, and this is basically the structure. These are just, um, these are cobblestone posts, I guess they are. They're only a quarter wide and I'm using those for the spikes to sit on and that way I can get under here, repair them, do whatever I need to do with them. Eventually, all this gets torn out, all this goes away uh, and we'll be going down to, uh, we'll go down 40 levels to where the actual base is gonna be located. So we come way down here like so where I'm starting to build and this is where I'm starting to recreate the entire thing these are half post in concrete um, and I've got those set up the spikes will sit on top of those and this whole thing will be just one giant fall pit where they'll fall all the way down here hit the spikes and the fall damage alone just about kills them um, I have this same basic design built on the multiplayer server and um, it works really good for us. Then this is just the, again, this is just an access underneath or a utility space underneath so that I can get under here, just bang away and repair all the spikes and everything. Because once I build the entire thing out, there won't be access into that area to get to the spikes. Um, up above where you see the, the wood frames, that's going to be where pillars are, and beyond that will be the kill floor where you stand. Everything falls down here, and you stand outside the pillars and shoot everything. And then this is just a makeshift area I've got over here for construction, uh, where I've got my forges up and my concrete mixers, and I'm just getting it going, doing my thing. Um, but anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I don't know how much of uh, Alpha 15 I'm gonna do, um, but definitely when Alpha 16 comes out, if you guys are interested in it, let me know, um, and I'll you know possibly do some recording on it when Alpha 16 comes out. Which again, have no idea whether that's coming anytime soon or not, but. Um, uh, let's eat a little something here get our our health back up but um yeah but again just let me know what your thoughts are if you enjoyed the little bit of gameplay uh figuring out how to record this is another thing i've been worried about is it's a it's a total grind and like i mean i spend hours just tunneling all this out with a pick um, you know, I don't have an auger or anything yet, so I'm I'm banging all this out with a pickaxe, and uh, it takes a, it takes quite a bit of time to get it to done because, like, so that my building doesn't collapse, I've taken this thing all the way to bedrock, which on this particular map um, here is here is bedrock. Well, actually, it's a hay bale. So in case I uh, in case I fall off the ladder. I bounce on the hay bale and don't die, but um, just the whole process for getting this, uh, come on, let me back on there. That's negative 57 or 57 meters below uh, average terrain. The base itself uh, or the level of the ground outside here is 30 meters. So yeah, I'm 87 meters to get to bedrock. It's um, it's quite a bit of a build. So, um, but anyways, hey, if you like the video, smack the like button, leave a comment down below if you haven't already. Think about subscribing to the channel. I do try to do new content each and every day for you guys. And again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And I will see you later. Bye bye.